Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another base build. Today, I bring you all the Sanctum. The Sanctum is a small group base for four to eight players with a material cost of roughly 170K total materials. The space has a variety of features, including a 12 box egg starter with a bunker, an open core with 42 boxes of storage space and room for nine turrets, a mini china wall with broken turret angles, compound bedrooms with insane peaking angles, a roof with some insane chain link peak downs, and much, much more. I personally built this base on my server Snow Lodge 3X and it is one of my favorites to use currently for a six person group. I know you all want to see what the space looks like so let's go ahead and get into the tour. Now before we get into the base tour I'd like to introduce today's sponsor Hero Wars. Hero Wars is a free to play mobile game and it is quite literally the only mobile game I actually find interesting right now with many unique characters to choose from to bring into battle. They have cyborgs, aliens, vampires, even some interesting furry creatures. My personal favorite is Chaba. Find your champion in Hero Wars today. All right, here we are outside of the Sanctum. Let's go ahead and get into the tour. So coming into our gatehouses here, we have some Patrico Peaks that look into the back of our furnace wall for when we're getting raided. Here we have quite a bit of turret coverage. You can see on the top of our gatehouses and bedrooms here, we have some turrets as well as turrets here. This is our mini China wall with Patrico Peaks just about everywhere you could think of, as well as some of these standard defense pods. It appears that Sanctuary is having some issues, so this isn't clipping all the way, but this is normally covered by these triangle roofs. Coming back in here, we have some compound bedrooms here with peaks into the back of the furnace wall, as well as peaks into compound. These are super OP for raid defenses, and this turret basically covers all of your compound, and it's super hard to rock it out, so makes for a super fun place to defend raids from. Here, as you saw earlier, we have our defense pods, and these are just little triangle sections with turrets on them. Of course, we have some compound bedrooms here with peaks into the entrances on your base. Coming over here, this is our little funnel wall section. And as you can see, this one is sealed in. Coming up top here, more Patrico peaks, as well as a breach peak that looks directly into your front gatehouse, which is super nice for defending door raids. You have an additional peak here that looks back towards your base. And of course, here we got two bedrooms, and each of these has Patrico peaks towards the front gatehouses as well. Coming inside here, we have another bedroom with some extra furnaces. And coming up here, we have our open core. So this open core is unique in that you get 36 boxes worth of storage as well as two armored turrets and six boxes worth of unlootable storage. And as you can see here, we have three turrets up top, but if you simply add four frames right here in these spots and upgrade them to metal, you can place turrets in these positions here. So coming over here, you see we have our batteries on the sides of our bunkers here and we have our bunkered loot as well. Going down into starter, we have a 12 box starter unit. Here's our TC. So four boxes here, four boxes here, and four boxes back here with enough room for over five bags and three furnaces. And of course, this is a bunkered starter, so you place a roof here, metal it up, and your starter is super expensive to raid. When you need to get out, you simply just break this foundation, replace it, and you are good to go. Just make sure that that doesn't become stone. Coming up here, we're gonna go up our jump up, and this, and this is one of our respawn floors. So here we can peek down into our open core. We can access our tower. Our tower is super good for raid defense. It has a lot of great angles on it that peek back into your base. And coming over here, we have a turret that watches our entire shooting floor here, as well as some additional peaks down into compound, which are super nice. Now going up top here, you can see that we have four boxes worth of storage. And going up again, we have a little respawn floor with some additional vending machines and whatnot. Just an easy place to drop your loot off and re-kit and go back out to fight. I forgot to mention here are some peaks back into your roof. We have triangles here just so people can't shoot down into your shooting floor. Up here we have the infamous Miami peaks down into compound where you can utilize this gate here. This gives you two layers of chain link so people on raid bases that are super high up can't shoot you but you're able to shoot down into your compound have our vending machines here so we can sell our stuff. And up here we have plenty of room to bring some minis in and park them. This is the Sanctum, so let's go ahead and learn how to build it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into the starter build here. So I'm going to place a triangle in the middle. This is an egg base. We're going to do two squares off of each side here. And then this square, we're going to leave that twig just like so. This foundation off of this square will be raised. It'll be a raised triangle just like that. And then we will fill in the rest with triangles. Then a triangle off of each square. Now we'll do half walls here on this raised foundation and we'll wall the rest in. All right, for these triangles, we're gonna add honeycomb on those. And now we're gonna go ahead and place our TC. So in this triangle right here, so you come down from the bunker, this one off to the left, replace a wall there and your TC will go here, kind of close to the front of the triangle and to the left. So you can put a door frame on and we will toss a single door on that. So now you are secure for the most part, but we're gonna keep on working. So let's go ahead and secure this. We're gonna add a regular single door frame here, roof on top, and we're going to seal the rest in. Place our single door there. And we're going to place a wall here. So there is a wall on each side of the bunker with a single door at the end of it. Now that you are secure, we're going to go ahead and finish the jump up here. Now you won't have a garage door for a minute. I understand that. So you can leave this empty for now. Just be very careful with how this works. Okay, inside, we're gonna go ahead and set up our loot rooms here. So off to the left, we're gonna do a shelf here. And we're gonna go ahead and put boxes in. And you can add a double door on this for now, just to make it a little more secure. And back here, facing the back of the base, we're gonna add a wall in this position here. And again, more shelves here. This will be another loot room as well. Okay, another double door there. Coming over here, we're gonna place a triangle off of this wall. As you can see, it attaches to this back triangle here and it connects through the wall. We're gonna place one box back here in this corner. This doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and make it that way. And before we place any more boxes, we're gonna wanna have a door frame here. Your first garage door should go here. So go ahead and take your garage door and slap it on right there just so we don't have to mess with it once these boxes are down and if you want to if you want to make your tc real secure you can do the same over here you can just have that facing in so it doesn't splash and back here we'll just place our tier one and now we're gonna go ahead and finish up these boxes so we're gonna place this box back here in this corner without falling off we're gonna place this one here and this one here perfect so now you have a 12 box egg starter which is more than enough for the group size that we're going for. And now we're gonna get a furnace in each of these three spots. With that done, we're gonna go ahead and get some sleeping bags down. As you can see, we can get five sleeping bags here. And now just to show you how this bunker works, this is gonna finish out the starter. So as you can see here, I placed this door incorrectly. You're gonna want this door facing in. So we're gonna rotate that. This door will now face in. And now what we can do here is place our roof just like this. This way from the outside, when someone drops down, they have a bunker here that they would have to break in order to gain access to the base. But for us, when we spawn in here, all we have to do is break this foundation and the bunker goes away. And we can go ahead and replace this and twig later on. So make sure that you never upgrade this. And that is how the bunker works for the base. We can go ahead and seal these two parts here. And that is it for the starter. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to building out the main base as well as the compound and the externals. All right, so now we're gonna work on the compound portion of the base. And to do this, we're gonna use Symmetry. Symmetry is a feature of Builder Sanctuary servers. This is a custom build server on Rust for PC. This is not enabled in the normal game and is not enabled in console. So. When I say that I am building with symmetry, I mean that it is the same on three sides. So this is three sided symmetry. So when I place a square here, as you can see, there's three sides here. I place a square here. It does the same thing on all three sides. It's all you have to do to make this work. So I'm going to add two squares here, one off of each triangle. And as you can see, it's done this on all sides of the base. And now I'm going to find one of these honeycombed triangles here. There's three of them on the base and we're going to build our multi TC wall stack off of this. So in twig, I'm going to build a triangle here. I'm going to go out five square foundations. 
with a triangle on the end. I'm gonna break these foundations going back. And now from this triangle, I'm gonna build back with two half moons. A half moon is four triangle foundations just like this. So this is one half moon. That's the second half moon with a triangle on the end. Now I'm gonna break these foundations. The reason we're doing this split is because you could destroy all of these with your hammer instead of using your ax or something to break the foundations. Now we're gonna go out two more square foundations with a triangle on the end. We're gonna break these. And we're gonna go back towards the base with two half moons. And now the last one here should be raised and we can go ahead and make that stone. And now we're gonna break these foundations here. Okay, off of this one while staring at the base, this will be a lowered foundation upgraded to stone and this will be a raised foundation upgraded to stone. Okay, so now that we have this up, we need to be quick with getting our externals down because these will start decaying. So what we need to do is go out two foundations here. We're gonna upgrade this foundation and you can make this one wood if you like. I generally will just leave it twig. Next, I'm gonna go out two more squares from this stone foundation. And here I'm gonna place a foundation just like this and upgrade it. This is what it should look like coming off the wall stacked portion of your base. Off of each side, I'm gonna do two triangles just like this. I'm gonna upgrade these. And now to get our TC down, we need to go ahead and do a mini Satori disconnectable. So I'm gonna go out with a half moon. I'm gonna place a square. And then this will be a triangle with two triangles on each side. And this is the disconnectable TC itself. We will place our TC here. And this will be the same on each side. If you don't have the material to do this early, feel free to just add a single door like this. And don't forget to upgrade the roofs of them. And this way you could just toss a door on it for now and you can come back to this later. But we're gonna just act like we have all the materials ready. We're gonna do two half walls here a door here, wall here, and we're gonna roof this in just like so. And we will go ahead and add another single door here. Eventually, you will want to add a garage door in this position here and make this metal. But coming outside, what we're gonna do now is add a wall frame here and upgrade this to stone. We're gonna break these portions here and off of this TC here, we're gonna place a square frame and then four triangle frames as another half moon and we're going to upgrade all these and now just to show you guys how this works if you ever need to disconnect your tc because the main tc got raided you will simply place a foundation here and a roof off of the foundation like that and that will disconnect your tcs from the base this way you don't have to shotgun out all your tcs whenever you get raided okay coming back towards base we have a start going but we need to refine it we're going to place windows here and we're going to go up with some half walls here and now we want to add roofs onto this. This will form your airlocks. And to finish these gatehouses, all we're going to do is place a double door here and windows in these positions here. Now, obviously, we still have a little bit to go before we can get our compound down. So we need to go ahead and do our next externals. All right, so out of these triangles here, we need to place some wide gaps. I'm going to place a triangle. I'm going to go out three squares with a triangle on the end. I'm going to delete these foundations. And now coming back, I'm going to place a half moon with a square on the end of it. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to place a wall here. I'm going to upgrade this wall, place a half wall here with a floor right there. And I'm going to place a triangle floor right here and upgrade that. You can go ahead and get rid of these. This is going to be a jump up later on. So we just want to set this up early before we go any further. Now we're going to upgrade this foundation there and we're going to break this build out here. Now we're going to go out one more stone foundation and then two twig foundations, just like this. And now we're going to go out another two stone foundations. And off the end of this one, this will be our disconnectable. But first we're going to place triangles off of each side and upgrade those. Now this is what your base is looking like. This is where it gets tricky. This is where we have an actual bunker this time. So I need you guys to pay very close attention here. We're going to place three half walls here, wall here, wall here, with half walls on top. Now coming outside, this is where we'll add the bunker to our external. We're gonna place a square foundation here with a half moon of triangle foundations and then foundations off the end. So we're gonna go ahead and 
delete these. And now here, we're gonna place a wall here and a wall here. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade these. And we're gonna remove this foundation and upgrade these as well. Now, this part involves placing a three-handed bunker, which can get a little interesting, but as you can see here, I've almost got it lined up perfectly. So all you wanna do is line yourself up in the middle here and pull this up until it starts turning blue. And now my goal here is to get the blue portion of this build to line up with the left side of the wall over there. Just like that right there. And now as you can see, that's a pretty decent bunker. I've seen way better bunkers, but this one will do because what's gonna happen here is we're gonna place this wall, upgrade it. We're gonna place our TC with a floor on top. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a window on this and we're going to rotate it to face out. When you do that, this activates the conditional here that creates that space between the wall. This still works with out rotating that window out, but let's just keep it like this. So as you can see, there's no gap for people to shoot through. But if you notice up top, there is a gap that people can shoot through. But don't worry, that's how we connect this back to the base. Okay, and here we're going to leave this open for batteries later on. So you could just add another window here and don't touch that for now. We'll come back to it later. Okay, now to show you how this bunker works, all you're going to do is take a roof and place it off the side here and you can access both your TC and your battery. But we need to add a connection back to the base. So we will place a square frame here off of the TC and this is connected to the TC and not the wall there. So you're all good. And additionally, this adds a spot so that people can't shoot through the gap that this bunker has. Place a triangle frame there and triangle frames the rest of the way. So now we have all six of our TCs ready to go and three of them are bunkers. If you want, you can even place box like a small box in here to store your boom in. If you have to get off early on the first night, it is what it is. But to show you how to break this bunker, you are not going to be placing your roof off of this side. It does not work because this is a regular wall but your two half walls are on this side. So I'm gonna place a square foundation here and a roof there, and it will break that to disconnect your bunker. All right, now we gotta finish up with a couple upgrades. So to get our compound more finalized, we're gonna go ahead and handle the gatehouses. Place our roofs just like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and go around placing our barricades. You will need 12 metal barricades in total. We're gonna place some twig triangles off the front of these TCs just like this. And this is the same for all six sides here. I could technically use six sided if I wanted to, but this won't work for six sided. So we're gonna do it three. All right, so I'm gonna place my two triangles off the gatehouse just like this. And my barricade is gonna go just about in the middle of them, just like that. And this is the same for all six sides. And now we need to go ahead and run our external walls. So just to kind of show you guys what you're looking at here, go ahead and place this half wall and this floor here. And this is also the same on all six sides. Now, you wanna have this just about lined up. If there was a line drawn from the start of that triangle to the end of that triangle over there, you want this wall running right down the middle of that line. So I'm gonna place it just like that and it runs straight down that gatehouse there. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And now we just connect the walls in the middle and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Next up, we need to place our large furnaces. So what we're gonna do here is build a furnace wall. A furnace wall essentially adds six rockets to your compound because it takes six rockets to blow a large furnace. So what we will do is from these spots here, we're gonna, from the ground, place this furnace up as high as we could possibly get it and then try and get it to touch the side of that half wall there just like that. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And now in the middle, we're going to place one more. And as you can see, these gaps are too big for people to run through, which is exactly what we want. The people, when they blow these walls, they will need to blow the furnaces to run through this spot, which adds a whole lot of raid cost to your base. We're going to do the same thing over here as well. All right, and that is stage two of your base built. Now we're gonna go ahead and start refining the main base itself. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. 
By the way, Hero Wars is a world of six unique modes and 100 million players. You can play alone like me, or you can play along with friends. Also be sure to try out the Titans mode, become a legend, and try Hero Wars now. Alright, so now we have the base here. What we're going to do is add some bedrooms to it on the first floor. So starting up here, this is your entrance into the base. We're going to add bedrooms off to the right here. So what we're going to do is place a wall right here, door frame right here with a roof on top. And in this position, you're going to want a garage door just because the jump up here can be a little tricky. You're going to want to place three furnaces here as well. One, this is extra furnace space and two, this just makes the jump up a little easier in case this is a big gap into the ground. OK, so in here we will be placing a bed against this wall and a locker over here. As you can see, this is three beds down. That's three of your six man ready to go. And now we're going to add more beds here. And here you can have a window if you'd like, and you can have a horizontal embrasure in it. This is a pretty good angle out into compound, especially at that gatehouse. That is up to you, though. We have a double door frame here, wall here with a roof on top. And next, we're going to add a double door right there. And our bed is going to go against the window. This way, you can use the bed to see through your Patrico peak. And on this wall here, we're going to place a locker. Now that is six bedrooms down already. So your full six man is bedded in the base. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on the open core itself. To do this, we need to start at these sides of the base where the wall stack is. I'm going to place a frame here. I'm going to go ahead and start building everything in stone just to make this easier. Half wall right there. I'm going to do two walls here and here door frames just like this and we're going to place roofs here. Now these can go ahead and be upgraded to metal or high quality, whichever one you like because your bunker will be sitting on top of these. Now coming over here we're not going to add anything here just yet. We're going to jump up top and add half walls right here with a floor on top of them just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and add walls through here on each of these squares. This is very similar to the igloo so you can just do it just as you did for that. And here we're gonna add a triangle just like this. This will be the triangle that our bunker is on, so you're gonna to wanna to upgrade this to metal. Okay, now that we're inside, I'm turning symmetry off. This is your drop down into main loot, so we want a turret here staring at that drop down. So we're gonna add half walls just like this with a floor on top and that will cover this entrance to the base. And now we're gonna add symmetry back on and we're gonna do a lowered wall off of each of these squares here with a full half wall on the other side. And these need to be rotated to face out as these will be your unlootables. And now we're gonna do half walls facing the loot rooms here with some triangles on top. I would probably wait on these triangles until you get your boxes done. So the way that this can work is you can place your boxes here and now you can add code locks to each of them. And for these code locks, you'll just wanna make sure that your team has them before you seal them up. And these aren't unlootable just yet, but they will be eventually once we add our ramps and our floor frames, so don't worry. But for now, we can add floor frames if we'd like. And now off of these sides here, we need to go ahead and create our loot rooms. As you can see, we can't place a floor off that half height wall over there, so we're gonna place a floor here. We're gonna place a triangle through the wall off of this floor. As you can see, that's how that worked. And now we're gonna place a triangle there and delete that floor. And we're gonna do the same thing on all six sides. All right, back in the middle here, we're going to half wall these loot rooms. Place door frames here with roofs on top. And I will be adding just regular triangle floors in the middle of each of these. Now your loot room is not ready just yet for you to add loot. So don't go crazy adding a whole bunch of loot in here. You wanna make sure that this is super secure before doing anything. Now we need to go ahead and set up our turret pods above these doors. So we're gonna add a regular triangle floor there with half height walls on each side with a triangle on top. Now, if you already have the turrets available, you can go ahead and add them here as it is a great idea to have some early game turrets, especially when you are in this stage of the build. You can simply power them off of solar panels for now and to have some place to store that power, I will go ahead and show you where we are putting our batteries. So just to kind of finish up the starter here, we're gonna add a triangle roof out of the airlock here which will allow us to run up into the main base. And we will add a frame off of the bunkered side of the base. Now we're going to create a spot to store our batteries. And this whole section here will be metal walls. So go ahead and wall it in with metal. And we're going to add a wall here. Now for the roof here, we're going to place a floor. 
and we will place our battery right in the middle with a door there and we can go ahead and door this in. Now, so here you can place some solar panels and you can route them into these batteries and then you can use those batteries to fuel these turrets. Let's go ahead and set up our bunkers now. Here we're just going to place more shelves just like this. Now you will only be able to access this bottom box here so you can just place that one there and you'll place two boxes just like this. You will want to add ceilings on the roof of this and here we're going to place a wall and we're going to rotate it that way this way when people are inside your base they have to blow this bunker open they cannot just soft side the wall and here to access this bunker we're going to place a roof you want to make sure you never upgrade these roofs these should only remain twig and here you can access your three boxes and now here I know that people have had some problems tr placing this floor generally you can place it from the bottom of your bunker just like this as you can see, this is off of this PC over here. So it's off the bunker, it is not off the main base. You can see how there's a gap there where the main base is. If you're having problems with it, try placing it from above as well. Sometimes only one of the two will work. See, in this case, it won't let me place it from above, so I have to go below. But make sure you try both of those if you're having issues placing that. Once that's done, you can simply break this and that wall is there to stay. Now we're gonna add a jump up here. So thankfully we have a wall there with a half wall there so we're just going to add a regular triangle floor there and this will serve as our jump up into the shooting floor all right coming up here we're going to go ahead and add the next layer of our base we're going to place a triangle here in this spot and we're going to switch back to stone for now we're going to do half walls here here and all along here and then we're going to add windows on the top of these as well and now in this spot here we're going to place a door frame and I'm gonna add a door there. This just helps us with expansion early. Door frames here in these spots. And now we're gonna add windows facing in. We can go ahead and seal this floor in. Okay, now on these sides, you can add a floor frame just like this if you'd like. Okay, and now on these sides, we're gonna place a triangle here. This will eventually house a turret. And if you'd like to, I'd recommend upgrading this wall or this half wall here into sheet metal, just because it'll be hard to reach it later. Now let's add a roof triangle here. And something to note, this other roof triangle will tend to place off of the main TC, and this will make it not connect like this. What you wanna do is look down and try to place the roof triangle there until it connects to the outer TC just like that. And that will force these two to connect. Now what we're gonna do is add our jump ups. We're gonna place a window here, a regular single door there with a roof on top. We're gonna add a door there. And we're gonna place our horizontal frame here. Now we're gonna add a lowered wall just like this, kind of similar to the igloo as well. And in the center here, we're gonna go up with frames and then half walls. So coming up here, we're gonna to need to place a triangle floor there. And we're gonna build out with squares and triangles just like this. Now, obviously we're gonna go ahead and add another level of protection here. So we're gonna add half walls there and half walls here. And we're gonna seal this in again. This serves as additional honeycomb down from the roof, as well as a box storage here where you can add drop boxes. Let's go ahead and finish up these sides of the base here. I wanna add a triangle here a floor triangle there. I'm gonna add half walls here, just like that. And now I'm gonna add triangles on top, just like that. If you wanna make this just a little more secure, you can also add triangles right here. This way people can't get up here and shoot down into your shooting floor. You place these triangles like that, you can still shoot at people on your roof from these. So super easy way to mitigate people shooting down into your shooting floor. So now up here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and add these triangles here, and we'll just have a regular double door here for now. now you might notice that we are basically defenseless against top down, so we're gonna go ahead and set up our turbines on the roof, as well as our vending machines and turrets. All right, so standing here in the middle of the roof, we're gonna go ahead and add our turbines. So off of these triangles here, we're going to go up three levels of double door frames just like this and on the top of this up here you're going to want to place two triangles just like this and your turbine here will be placed in the middle but sideways just like that and now we're going to route these down into the batteries that we placed earlier so i'm going to use the power out there 
I'm going to connect this down. The best part about this setup is that you don't need additional connectors or anything to make this reach the batteries. I'm going to drop down right here to connect this there, that there. And now here we just connect this into our battery and that's all three sides connected. Super early game, you have a lot of power. And I'm gonna add a door here that I forgot early on. Going back to our roof, now we have three turbines and enough space for you to fly minis into your roof through here. We're gonna go ahead and add our positions for our peak downs as well as our shop. So I'm gonna place a triangle floor frame here and here. I'm gonna add a single door frame here, double door frame here and here. And now I'm gonna place triangle roofs just like this, or the triangle floor there. And off of these triangle floors, we're gonna place our turrets. These turrets can essentially cover the entire roof, so make sure you have them placed early on. Now here in this spot, this is where we can put our vending machines. This is super nice for vanilla, where we wanna sell off our extra guns and stuff for sulfur. So, so you can put your vending machines here and they can be accessed by a drone through the front of them. Now off of these positions here, we're gonna add frames just like this. And some of you may have seen these peak downs before, but what we're gonna do is add chain link to the outside of this. And now on the inside, we're gonna add a chain link gate just like this. So in the event that you're getting raided, you can shoot down into compound through this chain link fence, but you cannot get shot by anyone on a raid base over there, or over there. You can only shoot or be shot or shoot people from compound. So it's super nice. These are really great peak downs. And additionally, there's no cooldown timer on them. So if they get blown up, you can simply come here and place more of them without dying. It's actually pretty cool. It's not like a regular door where you have to wait for a timer. It's very fast. Okay, with this all placed, we're gonna go ahead and start working more on compound. So let's go ahead and get active with that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and work on our mini China wall. So before you all comment saying, ah, oh, Siege, you said not to use China walls. I said not to use China walls, not mini China walls that have funnels on them. These are incredibly different. Regular China walls are super big and useless. These are actually functional. Let me show you how this works. We're gonna place a triangle here, a triangle here, and we're gonna delete this foundation here and we're gonna add squares here and here. Obviously this will decay quick, so we need to fix this. We're gonna add a half wall here window here, floor up top, and we're gonna connect it to our base with a frame there. All right, now off of these sides here, we're gonna place two half walls, and we're gonna add a window just like this. And now here, we're gonna make a weird little peak that you can use, so we're gonna place a door frame there, a low wall on top of it, and then we're gonna delete the door frame just like that. You'll want that facing out. I'll show you all what that's for later. Here, we're gonna place a window, and then two walls like this floor on top and we're gonna add a door frame there and here we will do the reverse we're just gonna place the window there walls here and here door there with a floor on top and here through the window we're gonna place triangle floors and obviously we'll be placing our horizontal embrasures as these will become patrico peaks same with these off the sides here don't place a horizontal embrasure here all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our roof here and what you can see is you created a little peak for yourself to step back here and defend if someone's laddering up the side of your base or something like that. Just a nice little peak to have. And new for this version, we're gonna be sealing this portion in. So you can just place triangles just like this. And now this is sealed, which is just super nice. But now we're gonna take this one step further and we're gonna go ahead and finish the funnel on these. So we're gonna add double doors here facing out. And now with your shotgun traps that you have, you're gonna place them here on the ground facing that door. So if someone pushes up to this door, they will get blasted from the bottom there from that shotgun trap that you can barely see. So super nice little function. And this here serves as a great defense pod for your compound if you start getting raided. And the best part is that this peak here looks directly towards your airlock. You can defend your airlock if people are door raiding with no issues at all. And just to kind of finish this out, we're gonna add beds here and lockers on this back wall here. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So with that new count, we are up to 12 beds. And coming over here, we're gonna place a triangle here and a triangle here. 
forming all of our Patrico peaks. So you get Patrico peaks here from the bottom level, as well as here on the top level. Coming over to our gatehouse here, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. We're gonna add a window here and a window here and a double door frame there. We're gonna go ahead and seal this in. Place our double door right here. And here we're just gonna add two regular square frames over just like that to connect to the top of this. Now you can delete these here. And what we're gonna do off the sides of this, we're gonna add two double door frames there and we're gonna place chain link on that as well. Why are we doing this? Because this is a turret pod. And now if people are blowing your compound open, they will have to rocket through this extra fence here to hit the turret. It just adds a couple extra seconds of raid costs that allow you to get more time. Replace horizontal embrasures here as well as small boxes here for extra kits and meds. As you can see, this peak allows you to look into the outer compound behind the furnaces. So if people get stuck on the furnace wall, this peak allows you to kill them while they're trying to get through the furnace wall. All right, coming back inside, we're gonna go ahead and grab our barricades and we're gonna place them just like so. And now this portion of your mini China wall is complete. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. All right, starting on the outside here, I want to go ahead and get started back here just so we can get this portion done first. These are some massive bedrooms for your base, and these are super critical to have down in the event that you get raided. So what we're going to do is place windows here and here. Replace a double door frame there. Floor on top with two triangles off to each side. Coming out here, we're going to place window here and here and a half wall here with a double door frame on top. I know this looks rather confusing, but stick with me. Replace a triangle floor there and there. And obviously we're gonna add our horizontal embrasures just like this. Coming outside here, we will eventually connect this back together. So don't worry too much for now. Off of these back spots here, we're gonna place our lockers. Next, we're gonna place our beds in the middle. And we will be placing small boxes here so we can use the Patrico peaks. Same peaks on the other side, we're just going to use these to defend the outside of the furnace wall. However, you could probably see that we have additional Patrico peaks here to defend compounds, so this we can add more beds here and here. And now we can use these peaks to defend our compound. So super nice, whole bunch of peaks on these. And of course, this alone adds an additional 12 beds, so you are sitting at 24 beds total. And here we will add turrets up here as well. Now you have six turrets in compound. We're going to add wall frames just like this. In these wall frame spots, we'll be adding chain link. And in this front spot here, we'll be adding a chain link door. Sometimes the beds here will collide with it, so you will have to get rid of the beds or place this before the beds. So now the turret can shoot through all of the chain link and you have to blow up the chain link to destroy the turret. This again adds extra raid costs and makes it more annoying for raiders. Okay, coming over here and now we're going to add our mini china wall off of the side of the base. So what we're going to do is place a triangle foundation here, a raised foundation there, raised foundation here, and then a normal foundation here. We're going to do the same on the other side. And now here on the lower triangles, we're going to add half walls and we're going to add windows on the rest of this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, simple enough. Now we're going to place our roof triangle here and here. Same thing on the other side. And now we're going to close this in with roof triangles. Here we're going to add our double door frame, same thing up here, and we will be placing regular double doors here. These are super important for quick mobility. We'll place a floor on top. And here we're going to place a half wall with another floor on top of that. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this twig here. We're just going to delete that and tie it all together with frames just like this. And now as you can see here, you can leave this open if you'd like your turrets to shoot up at people while they're raiding your base, or you can just simply close this in and have it guard compound. Whichever one works for you, I'll leave that up to y'all. Now just to show y'all where turrets go within this mini china wall, we're gonna place a turret here and a turret here. So now you have comprehensive coverage of your entire compound as well as the inside of your mini china wall, which is just super nice. And uh, yeah, it just makes it hell for raiders to raid the space.
Before we get started on the tower build, we need to go ahead and add a couple floors here. So we're going to place a wall right here and we're going to place a triangle floor through the wall just like that. That will allow us to have that extra jump up once the tower is made. Let's go ahead and build the tower. So we're going to do frames just like this. Doors here facing out. And we can jump up here and add a floor on top. And we're going to add windows off to each side with a regular wall there. And these windows here will be getting normal vertical embrasures. And in these spots here, you are welcome to place beds if you'd like. Let's make sure that you're still able to jump up here. Place a frame there just to form your jump up. And now coming up here, we're going to have this one more time. And we're not going to place a frame on this side just to make it easy once we get up a little further. And we can delete that double door there as we're going to be replacing it with a garage door. Jumping up one last time here. In this spot, again, you can just choose to use a bed if you'd like. Now here, this one's a little tricky. We need to get half walls on each side, a low wall here, a standard square frame just like this on top. We'll place a roof off the end of it with walls on each side. And now we're going to place a frame off the main base with a double door on it. Here you get some super unique peaks down into your compound and outside of your compound as well. All right, so the base is coming together and we are almost done, but we need to upgrade a couple things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit upgrade on this here, and this will upgrade almost the entire thing to metal. This should be your goal. Your bunkers should eventually be armored and your base should eventually be metal. But of course, leave it stone if you need to. It really isn't that bad. Here we're going to add our barricades. I'm going to place a barricade here off the end of this one. Place another barricade here. And now we're going to place these two barricades here in the middle, just like so. And that gives you four barricades of space. Now I'm going to go around adding some horizontal embrasures here. We're going to do embrasures off of the outside of these pods here. We will do horizontal embrasures off of our shooting floor here and here. Same on this side. And on the inside of the base, we'll be using regular vertical embrasures just like this so we can peek down into our core. We'll be getting those peak downs by adding beds right here and right here and we will add lockers off the outside of the base right here and right here. This gives you six extra bed spawns within the shooting floor of the base. And now to ensure that your shooting floor is covered by turrets, we're going to add a turret right here. And if you really want to make it that much worse, you can add chain link here and here. That way raiders have to blow the chain link and the turret, which is just super annoying to deal with. Okay, coming up to roof, we need to go ahead and finish our roof so we can finish the base. Everything in compound is done now. So all that is left to do is get the roof finished. So we're gonna go ahead and add roofs facing out. I'm gonna upgrade these to metal as well. And now here in the middle, we're gonna go ahead and add a frame off of the left-hand side and a window off of the right-hand side. We're gonna add two vending machines on each side, just like this. To do this, you need to place them fresh up against the window. You cannot have anything in the window or they won't place. And once that's done, you can go on the outside of the window there and add a window to it just like that. Super neat. And now we're going to seal this all in. And here we can just do miscellaneous stuff. We can add beds. We can do whatever we want. This room is up to you. I will leave that up to y'all. And now before we do the electric work, I almost forgot. Here's a question for you. Where can you get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars right away? Too slow? The answer is in the link within the description below. Head on over to your respective app store and play Hero Wars now. Okay, now I understand that you might be wondering where are we adding the extra turbines for those batteries that we added in our bunkers over here. I'm going to go ahead and place this battery here as well. I'm going to show you how to do this in a vanilla way um, with that place there. I'm going to come with the battery up here. I'm going to place it from above just like that. Super easy to place inside of your bunker. All right, now our final turbines will be going off of these positions here. So there's three of these positions. We'll be going up four double door frames just like this. Two triangles on top and we will add this turbine here. Just like that. Now you have six turbines. These three turbines are attached to the batteries here. 
and these three turbines will attach to the batteries out here in your bunkers. Super easy, and you can use those to distribute power to your different auto turrets. And now as we get ready to close out, I wanna show you all some additional auto turret positions that you can use to make your base a little stronger. You can add turrets in these spots here. These will cover breach once your furnace wall is blown, which is super nice. And now coming inside here, we have our three turrets in here, but we wanna add some extras. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our turrets back here in this corner. And what you're gonna see is that we can place a armored ramp on top of these. So here, as you can see, you can place a armored ramp on top of these turrets. Funny enough, you can still open these turrets and you can add guns to them and whatnot and you could service them and add more ammo. But when raiders try and raid this base, these armored turrets are an absolute nightmare. Now I know that you might not be happy with this either, so let's go ahead and add more turrets. In these corners here, we're gonna add triangle frames just like this. You will simply climb up here and you will sit in these corners and add your turret here facing towards the center of your base. You can do this on all three sides. And as you can see here with the ramps on, these are now super hard to loot, especially when you have a code lock on them. So these technically become unlootable as when these boxes break, their bags will shift towards the rear of this two triangle chamber here, making it very hard to retrieve them. So definitely use these with code locks on them if you want to store some important loot. And now for your tier three position, I will simply toss it right here. And in this position here, I will add a extra turret. And now to add more door upgrades, I'm going to come down low and I'm going to add a garage door here and a garage door here. Coming up top here, I will take any armor double doors that I find and put them here on these doors. And then in these spots, I'll be adding garage doors facing out. And this will be the same on all three sides of your base. And that is all that there is to the Sanctum. I truly appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you to Asian again for helping me design this base as well as Miami and Bold for the additional revisions of the base later on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and let me know in the comments what you thought of this base. I will see you all next time. Peace.